<laughs> so you're finally here, Prenny Instructor. Morning, Axel. You. What do you think you're doing with those prennies? What do you expect me to do about the sardine situation? Watch your mouth. What do you think helped your worthless vampire teeth after you lost all your power? Before you start acting all pretty instructory, you should think carefully about your place here. Give me back those damn prennies! That's not asking, that's ordering, and you're not being polite at all. I'm the Warden of Hades. I control everything around here. If you keep that attitude up, don't think I won't lock you up too. I only want to keep the promise I made to the prince. I have no intention of defying your power. Just shut up and give them back. Why don't you get it? I'm not giving the prince back to you. What? What did you say? Are you telling me to break the promise that I made to the Prinnies? You, you don't scare me. I've been through much worse and survived to get where I am now. I'm Warden Axel. Axel, you cretin. Why can't you just calm down for a minute? My lord simply wishes to keep the promise he made to the Prinnies. Don't you understand that? If you dare to refuse us, then we'll have to resort to violence to force you to understand. Agreed! He who doesn't understand words must be given physical discipline. Prepare yourself, Warden Axel. You will learn that I have no intention of disobeying you. intention of disobeying you whatsoever. Didn't you just beat the crap out of me? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but don't most folks consider that disobedience? My only wish is to stay true to my word. Now, give me back the prinnies. Sorry, but that's a no-can do. Because that's the Corrupterman's will! 
could they possibly be up to? Oh, that? Mass extermination of the prennies! You get it, right? The rapid increase in the pretty population is starting to be a major problem all over the netherworld. Food shortages, unemployment, noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, decreased test scores. These are all the Prinny's fault. The Corruptor Men has organized a special task force to get rid of them. The Abaddon, a band of assassins brought together and under the command of none other than the Netherworld President himself. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're Netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the Corruptorman's rubbish. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be jobless and broke once all the prennies are gone. But what about the sardines? What should I do with all the sardines I promised to give them? I don't see what the problem is. What's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow-minded fool! The promise has already been made! Until I keep my promise, no one gets the prennies! I don't care if you're the corrupter men or, or even the president! Please calm down, my lord. It's dangerous to carry on in your usual moronic fashion while confronting the corruptorment. What is this? Is my faithful servant scared of a mere corruptorment? Not even. But I do have a mission of my own. And in order to complete it, I can't afford to lose you in a fight over such an insignificant matter, my lord. So you're telling me to obey them, and to break the promise I made? All is for my lord. Poppycock! How many times do I have to tell you that for a demon, breaking a promise isn't... I am fully aware of your noble yet ultimately futile philosophy. However, please, think back about all of the things that you've lost just to keep the promises that you've made in the past. If only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your throne as the invincible tyrant in no time. Let's not talk about that. Now come, Fenric, before the prinnies are disposed of.
My position and leadership abilities will be put into question if this continues. All of my effort will be a total waste if that happens. I gotta take control of this situation before those fools really get out of hand. Huh? You, are you the Warden of Hades? Yes, sir. I am Axel, the Warden of Hades. I was personally appointed by the President. We are the President's Special Assassination Task Force. Have you been briefed on the current situation? Yeah, of course. To make your jobs easier, I gathered all those worthless pieces of garbage into one area. Barbecue, boil, broil, bake, saute. Do whatever you want to them. Great. I'm glad you're making this easier for us. That's the Assassination Task Force, also known as the Abaddon. I hope they're as powerful as their namesake. <laughs> Here you are again. They're like moths that singe their wings by flying too close to the fire. Gentlemen of the Special Task Force, they're the anarchists who are trying to stop the pretty extermination. Over here! Please exterminate all the annoying rats, too. Hmm. As you wish. Huh? What are you doing? We received an anonymous tip about possible anarchist activity. About a warden whose love for Prinnies has driven him to public expressions of dissent against the Corrupterment. You've already confessed, said you were aware of the situation, and were eager for us to enforce the punishment. What? No, that's not what I meant. You! How dare you do this to me! That is so admirable of you, Warden. You've been strict, but you actually care a lot about the Prinnies. Oh, I am humbled by your overwhelming love for the Prinnies. I'm so ashamed for thinking otherwise of you. Is that right? I never suspected that you cared so much about the Prinnies. Warden, I accept and understand your passion toward the Prinnies. Therefore, it has been decided. The Warden is an anarchist. Ah! No! Wait! Stop! Ah, help me! What shall we do, my lord? He appears to be in need of our assistance. Is there even any doubt? We can't possibly forsake a man of such passion. I knew you were going to say that. Y you guys will help me? Wait a second. This is all just a mistake in the first place. Let us fight together, Ward and Axel, to release the Prennings. And for their promise, the sardines!
I got this. Take this! How could these lowlifes defeat us, the Abaddon? Just so you know, we are subordinates of the Warden. We're not allowed to disobey his orders. It's the only reason we fought. Be sure to include that in your report to your superiors. What? No, no, no! This is a mistake! Well now. Must have been the Abaddon scouting crew. What shall we do now, my lord? Attack the Abaddon main forces! We will keep fighting for the release of the Prinnies! <laughs> His tyrant blood is starting to boil for the first time in ages. How absolutely delightful. Very well, let's hurry before the Corruptament receives word about the Warden's rebellion. You're right! We can't let them find out. Wait! I didn't do anything wrong! for myself what kind of idiots would come up with such a stupid idea but you guys don't look like you're worth the effort who's this impudent whelp listen up rascal this place is about to become the historical site of a bloody battle you should leave before you get hurt I am the Abaddon Commander. I'm in charge of the Assassination Task Force run by the President. I'm also his one and only son. The blood of the greatest lineage in the Netherworld flows through my veins. Now kneel before a measle! What? 
president's son. This is my chance. Say what now? You're the president's son? Please forgive us for our rudeness. Allow me to kneel before you. I'll even lick your high tops. Uh, hey, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you groveling on your knees like this guy? You can't even figure that out for yourself? I suppose I can spare the time to explain it to you. Your father is the Netherworld president because he earned it with his own power and abilities. It has nothing to do with you. Your prestigious bloodline comes from your ancestors' efforts. It has nothing to do with you. That being said, I have no reason to prostrate myself before you. That's the reason. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. He is a mere wealth, my lord. Yo, yo, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself! Don't you, don't you fear the name of the president? Absolutely not! There are only two things in this entire world that I fear. Small sardine bones that get stuck in my gums and breaking promises. The president is neither one of them! This? Hey guys, just kill him. Here I come.
brace yourself. Here I come! Prisoners are given a level cap, forcing them to submit. H how can you be so strong? 
Well, what kind of cheap trick did you use? <laughs> My lord's strength is unquestionable. That's because he is the... Sardine! Say what? You want to know the secret to my power? It's the sardines. Eat them and you will get stronger as well. What are you talking about? Why would I eat sardines? You dumb bastard! I hate fish! Damn it! Let's get back to the main force! Listen up! This ain't over! I'll get you next time for sure! You got that? Oh, next time! That was a picture-perfect loser call-out. Simply exquisite. Oh no! My only opportunity! We've upset the President's son! He was really pissed! <laughs> I can't believe those powerless blowhards were actually appointed to the President's Special Task Force. They have an ominous sounding name, but as far as I can tell, they're just babysitters for that insufferable brat. Oh, the Netherworld has become quite a tepid place while I was away. It's rather disappointing. Lord, you still have no idea how much this Netherworld has fallen. That is why you must now take over the Netherworld. Oh. Is for my lord. Man, your radicals finally showed. I give you props for showing up instead of just running away. And how dare you bark that nonsense after running away like a coward? Seems like you guys still don't know your place. This is your last chance! Either apologize and surrender, or take a beating and surrender. The choice is yours! Either way, your rebellion ends here, with me laying the smack down upon you. So take your pick now! This is it! I won't get a better chance than right now, and I better not miss it. I don't want to die yet! Sir Amizel, your highness, please help me! Wow! Everyone, look over there! The Warden is determined to take the head of his archenemy, Death the Measel! going to risk his own life for the pretties! His passion is indubitable! Oh, it's enough to bring tears to my eyes! Does he care for the pretties that much? I won't say a thing, Axel. Take him down so they can play your victory music! Huh? Is he coming after me? No! It's a... it's a mistake! Gah! Ah! Axel! You rascal! How could you do that to Warden Axel? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Wait, this ain't right. My weapon shouldn't... Warden Axel, you'll always live on in my heart. Apache Requiscat. Axel, I shall carry on your legacy. I shall release those damn prinnies in your name!
prinnies? You guys are rebelling against the corruptorment for the prinnies? Huh. Yeah, so? Are you stupid? Prinnies are just the rotten souls of humans. How could you risk your lives for them? You're totally whack. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you still don't understand, huh? I pity you, rascal. Say what? Allow me to explain. There is a path that I must follow, no matter what others say to me. The path to believing in myself. This battle isn't about the Prennies. This battle is about keeping the promise that I made. This is a battle for sardines! Like that was it? Now release the prinnies! Oh, why should I? Why should I do that? You know that the prinny population has grown so large, it's causing a bunch of problems in another world, don't you? First of all, prinnies are straight up criminals. Who cares if they're gone? And what's the big deal? It takes a prinny hundreds of years to pay off its sins. The whole nether world will be destroyed at this rate. That's why we have to get rid of them. There's no other way. Fenric. Yes, my lord. As you command. Oh! I thought 
thought I was dead for sure, dude! Don't relax just yet. The Corruptament has decided to exterminate all Prinnies. What?! <laughs> Are you serious, dude?! But you're gonna help us, right?! I promise to give each of you a sardine, but once that promise is fulfilled, what happens next is none of my concern. No way, dude! You gotta help us! Oh, unfortunately, my schedule is all booked up. I don't have time to be meddling with you, Prinnies. So, so, just what is it that you have to do, dude? Can it really be more important than our lives? Naturally! I have to go straighten up our irresponsible president and our rotten corruptament. What, dude? You, 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 you gotta be kidding me! You couldn't even do that in your wildest dreams, idiot! The corruptament are the real idiots. are increasing is because the Corruptorman has slacked off on scaring the humans to keep them in line. Exterminating the Prinnies while putting themselves on a pedestal isn't going to solve anything in the long run. This place will soon be filled with the souls of rotten humans once again. Well, that's... If the Corruptorman can't even see that, then we're headed for a worldwide crisis. That is why I must go! To awaken the president from his delusions. We know that you care a lot about the Netherworld, dude. But you should think about us and help us out, dude. As our pretty instructor. Hmm. As your pretty instructor, huh? What could possibly be bothering you, my lord? The prinnies aren't worth saving. We're left with only two options, so choose whichever you like. Get exterminated by the Corruptament... ...or become our Lord's loyal vassals. I won't let the Corruptament exterminate you if you become my vassals. I'll promise you that. However, being my vassals won't be easy. But I'm sure you'll be able to pay off your sins much faster. You heard that, didn't you, rascal? Now run along home and tell your father. If your rotten brain has forgotten the spirit that makes proud demons, I, Valvatores, shall make you remember. And this is how demons from Hades, the Netherworld's prison, arose to his mission. His name is Valvatores the tyrant, and he has boldly taken the first step towards stopping the Wheel of Corruption. Axel, I promise you right here, right now, that I'll never forget the passion and bravery that led you to your death. Farewell, Axel. Take this as my tribute to your memory. My lord, is that... a sardine head? I heard they're used to repel evil in some parts of the human world. That might be taken as an offense, rather than a kind offer. Oh well. Hey you! What the hell do you think you're doing helping the Prinnies? What you've done is unforgivable. This means war. War, I say! We, the Prenny Exterminators, declare an all-out war against you! The Prenny Exterminators make a sudden appearance! A shocking truth is revealed! 
The kanji for the word sardine is a combination of the characters fish and wick. What is going on here? Are you talking about sardines again? Some say that's because sardines weaken quickly after they're taken out of the water. That is absolutely not true. They're nutritious and are even used to repel evil thanks to their potent smell. It couldn't possibly be weak. From now on, let's officially make the combination of fish and strong the correct kanji spelling for sardine. Oh, by the way, sardina is sardine in Russian. Next time, episode two, Hell's Legendary Sardine Road. Eat sardines to power up, dog. Just don't cry when you eat them. <laughs>